What is up everybody? I am so excited to finally announce that we are dropping Bullet Chess Habits. That's right, a part two to the very popular Building Habits series. I had to do it. Um, everyone was asking me to do another one and I didn't really want to just do another Building Habits run. I wanted to, to offer something new and who doesn't love Bullet Chess? Plus, these are going to come in handy in your time scrambles as well. So really, it's just a guide on how to handle time pressure on the clock and a really easy step-by-step -step approach to bullet chess so that you're not intimidated by it. There'll be some new rules that I'm introducing that are very specific to bullet chess, uh, but it'll be a lot of the, the same stuff that you're used to from the old series. So first of all, if you haven't seen the original Building Habits, go watch it. Um, but if you have, it'll segue perfectly into this series. So we're gonna be dropping it on our YouTube channel over the next little while, but I'm so excited to get you guys in to episode one. Enjoy. All right. Nice little E4. Here we go. E5 immediately played. And we're gonna go with our Knight F3. Stick into the habits, right? Knight C3. And hey, if you've if you've done the the blitz, uh, you know blitz stuff before, then absolutely uh, this should this should make sense to you, right? You're gonna get castled, gonna get castled. I'm like a couple seconds per move so far, pretty fine. You know, me and my opponent are about the same. The setup should be very familiar. All right, we're done uh, Done our development. Oh, he's got a little pre-move going on there. We'll bring our uh, rooks into the middle. We'll get our uh, queen. Oh, that's a... Give me that sucker. Give me that thing. Give me that thing. I'm not even going to think twice. Into the middle we go. All right, it's time for some... Pawn moves that make no sense. Oh, give me that thing. And well, I can't put my knight into the middle of the board, so I'm going to stay centralized, but I'm going to have to move back here. Oh, that looks like a free piece for me. Queen over here, I don't know what's going on. Let's keep moving some uh, pawns here. Okay, let's uh, move the king. That look, I missed that one. Going to move our king here. Rook F3, that looks like a free something. I'm going to take it. I'm not calculating anything. Check. Okay. Let, let me try to pre-move. Let, let me work on my pre-moves here. I can't move. Where the hell did this guy's speed come from, by the way? I thought he was actually just flagging. Wait, by the way, is he allowed to be on chess.com with this avatar? <laughs> what? What kind of avatar is this? Hang on, let's get this guy banned to get my points back. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Get this guy off chess.com. He's not allowed to be here. Well, okay. Antoine actually pulled it like that, that was impressive. I'm not going to lie. Um, we had the time edge here. I started pre-moving, but the problem was I got in a position where the piece I was pre-moving just couldn't move anymore. And obviously, we needed to move other other pieces instead. Let's keep it going. All right, little coffee. We're gonna go with e4. Knights out. Okay, that's a little exchange there. Oh, it's another little exchange there. Bring our knights out. Okay. I'll bring the bishop out. Okay, I'll take the queen. I'll castle as soon as possible. I'm telling you, this is so easy. Everybody can do this. We're going to develop our pieces to attack the center. We're going to bring our rook to the middle. We're going to get some basic habits here with h3. Okay, he's attacking my bishop. Let's uh, bring that bishop back into the center. Okay, 
I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna bring the rest of the pieces into the middle of the board here. All right, make a few pawn moves. Here I go. Here come my pawns. The great thing about these pawn moves is that they just they just waste time. Oh, I'm just, I'm gonna have to take your rook. Everyone saw that move. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? I'm gonna have to take it. It was hanging. It was a free piece. It was hanging. This is like I got a, I got a nice choice here. I'm gonna start my pre moves. Oops. Just pick one piece and pre-move it. Just pick one piece and just keep making moves with it. This is so easy! How could you possibly lose games? What I'm doing doesn't even make sense! <laughs> oh, yeah, it just When you're under 10 seconds, just pick a piece and... Move it a billion times. <laughs> Just keep moving it. All right. We already know what opening we're doing. There we go. We've got this one in the bag. Our tried and tested opening. Okay. We're going to have to take this. Bishop here. Castled as soon as possible. Didn't want to lose my bishop. Let's bring our uh, rook to the middle here. We're going to continue our... Oh, that's a trade. Boy, we love trades. Let's get some habits in here. H6, don't you know it. Bishop H4. Let's continue to bring our pieces to the middle. Sure. And queen d7. Bring our rook in. Rook go over to the middle. Why the heck not? Takes. Let's go ahead and take that. Time for some random pawns to be pushed. Here we go. These should be some of your fastest moves. Just, it, it, none of it matters. Oh, I missed that. More pawns coming in. Oh, hang on. Hang on. That's for me down there. That's for me. That's for me too. Oh, that's for me as well. Oh, that's for me. Oh, he's so kind. And the good thing here is I could literally... I'm telling you, stop trying to be a hero at the end of the game and checkmate them. Just pick a piece and just move it a bunch of times. You're always going to win. Like, just pick something and move it over and over again. That's why pre-moves are so important. We would all fumble around, fumble the bag, trying to like play knight here, get this mate, the king might run away. You're not gonna checkmate anything. Logan and Jax, wait a minute. Two people? Surely isn't fair. It surely isn't fair. You wanna get castled as soon as possible? Oh, queen e3, damn. I can't take on f2 now. That must have been a move from Jax, if I had to guess. Seemed like a Jax kind of move. Let's uh, make sure we get castled here. Trades, we always do. Yeah. We'll get our pieces into the middle of the board here. Oh, what the hell is this? Jesus. That, uh, that hits like a truck there. Oh, that's a friendly move for me. 
E5. Oh, be happy to move my knight in the center of the board. Thank you. Thank you. Man, I tell you, all these blunders must be coming from Jax. Logan seems like a good player. But Jax is uh, kind of blundering at the moment. Okay, B3. He's offering me a trade. We'll definitely, uh, definitely take that. Okay. <laughs> Jax with the moves. Let's bring our rook to the middle. Let's get some habits in here. Pawn to h6. Good habits. Oh, trades for me. Let's bring our queen. We're gonna bring our rook over as well, right? Uh, shoot. Okay. Oh, here we go. It's coming up. We're under 10 seconds. So we might have to start. Uh, let's get that trade in. Let's just pick this queen and just kind of. Oh, you finally. All right, we're going to have to pick a new piece. I'm telling you, like, <laughs> it's, it's so easy to flag people. Enable pre-moves, pick a goddamn piece, and just move it. This is obviously not going to work at every level, but the point of habits is you start with the fundamentals. You get used to the idea like, obviously, if you're playing 2000 and you do this stuff, it's not going to work. But this isn't meant to work for 2000s. We're going to be adapting and changing as we as we move through the series. At 400, when you guys are just learning bullet, just starting out, I just want to see you guys put some pre-moves together. That's what we're practicing in this class. If you can chain some pre-moves together, that's what I want to see. And I'm telling you, it's probably going to work. What do I learn from this? Well, we're gonna build on things. But remember, before the 10 second mark of these games, are you saying that it's not chess? Absolutely, in this final portion of the game, it's it's just uh, craziness. But that's what bullet chess is, right? Time is a part of the game. So there's gonna be a portion of the game where it's about the chess, but then there's always a portion of the game where if you wanna get wins, you can't just be playing perfect chess. You gotta think about the clock. Okay. I think our um, opening is relatively expected by now. It's pretty much looked the exact same, right? Gonna get castled here. A little rook to the middle, a little h3 habits, why the heck not? Okay. Bring the uh, rook to the center here. Oh, a trade I'd be happy to do. Sure. Knight's going to have to go into the middle here. He's under attack. I might have to get a few. Oh, don't tell me you're leaving that there for me. Don't tell me you're leaving that there for me. That's really kind. Oh, no, not again. It's a free piece. It's not a discovered check. It's just a free piece. I have to take it. A couple pawns here. Okay, you scared me back. Oh, you're giving me a rook here. What the heck? Look, I'm going to go here. I'm going to stay there. Don't bother me. What the heck is this? What the heck is this? You're giving me everything here. Dude. Oh, it's come that time. Let's... Just send, just pick a piece and just send it. Just send it. Like, I'm telling you, this is... What, like, what did I just do there? Literally nothing. 
right? So it's not gonna work every time. But I'm saying it's gonna get you out of those situations when you're in a nasty time deficit and you need to make up a lot of ground. Let's say 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Just getting these insta pre moves, that's gonna be worth a lot. We had mate here, mate in one move. That might not come obvious to you, right? But with 7.8 seconds, I'm just saying, sometimes you might have mate and you go to pre-move the way I'm doing and you give up your mate and you lose the game for it. I'm not denying. That will happen. That will happen. But there's also going to be situations where your opponent's not sitting there with only two pieces left. They're actually going to have a bunch of pieces, right? And it's not going to be easy for you to checkmate. And if the time is the same, seven seconds against 26 seconds, trying to actually play real chess moves is not going to work. Like, you're, you're going to flag, right? It's going to happen. But if you just start pre-moving the hell out of the position, you never know what could happen. At the very least, you're doing yourself a favor. You're being fast. Pick a piece, pre-move it. If you lose that piece, pick another one, do the same thing. Go again. Now, hopefully, you've gotten used to our, uh, our starting setup here. Right? The habits should be coming in strong. The knights, the bishop. We're going to get castled. Oh, that's a trade, sure. And keep our uh, keep our pieces on their usual squares. If they get provoked, then sure. We'll move them, but for the most part, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. Oh, that's a trade. Well, that's a trade as well. Let's go here. Just bring in my rooks to the middle. Let's get a little habits in here. Trades. 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 Okay, great. Let's uh, push a few pawns over here. We're just trading. Look, I'm just trading pieces. What can I say? Not up to anything except trades. Now, sometimes those trades might be... I mean, look how much time he's spending on this move. I'm just trading pieces. What's happening here? I'm just gifted wins. I didn't do anything. Officer, my hands are up. I didn't do nothing. E4. Okay. Well, as I said, we're an easy customer. We take everything. We castle. You know, we're going to play D3. You know, we're going to play this. That's a trade. We definitely want to do that. Okay, bishop is attacked. We'll stay kind of in the middle of the board here. Take, take, and take. Let's bring the rook. Let's get the habits. Let's get this bishop out. Holy smokes. He's really sending it. Time for some random pawns. Holy smokes. He's using my strategy. <laughs> Except he's doing it before 10 seconds. He did it when he had a minute. He's, he's just pre-moving one piece. Hey, hey, listen, it's not a bad strategy. I recommend doing it when you have 10 seconds. He's trying to do it like the entire game. I'm not sure how that works, but... Oof. This is, uh... This is particularly good. For me. Let's push a pawn in the center. Okay, we're gonna need to uh we're gonna need to pick a piece here and start moving it.
Look, I, I met my equal. What can I say? I, he was up to task. I met a guy who was just as lethal as I was. Honestly, well played. Perfect chess right here. Played to a T. Look, this guy should be higher rated. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. If he only didn't troll around and just played reasonably for like 30 seconds and then did his strategy, it's legitimately good strategy for Bullet. I'm not even kidding. He made these moves very quickly. The problem was he did it while, you know, I still had some time on the clock, so I was able to take it. Let it be a shit show. It, it should be. It's Bullet. The final seconds, the final stages of a Bullet game are always going to be madness. Just embrace it. Just let it make no sense. Usually trying to make sense of the position takes time off your clock and you're not going to make much sense of it anyway. We know our opening. E5, yes. We've seen this before. The knights come out. Oh, trades. Trades. And we've actually... Uh, War trades. Hang on a sec. What's going on here? I'm gonna say we've actually come across this for the first time, but it's it's a little bit scary. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna castle. And I don't think like I'm actually not really calculating what he's doing. I'm just playing my habits moves against whatever he's got going. So rookie eight's actually a great move to maybe discover a check. But the reason I played it is just bring rook to the middle. Like nothing, nothing special past that. Let's go ahead and get our H6 habits in there. Develop the bishop. Bring our queen and bring our rook over. Take that. Okay, rook into the middle, um, some pawns, time for some pawns. That looks like a free bishop. Oh, that looks like a free rook. I mean, I might have had to lose a queen for it, but otherwise free. Okay, we're getting to that moment. King everywhere, right? Okay, King G6 was enough. Sorry, never mind. King G6, one move knockout. Ugh. Ah, we said we would adjust next time. Oh, trades, you know we do. You know we do those. You know we do trades. All day, baby. Huh? Huh? I mean, this is Christmas. What is this? Free queen and then two immediate peace trades? Let's get castled. Let's bring the rook to the middle. Let's get habits in there. H3, don't want my king to be worried. Let's bring the bishop out. The rook to the middle. Look at us go here. Look at us go. Oh, trades will do. Trades will do. Time for some random pawns. Push him. Push him. Oh, that's a free thing for me. Oh, that's a trade. Oh, that's another trade. I mean, this this shouldn't be too difficult, right? I'm just taking everything in sight. This has got to be a... Uh, got to be a doable one. Check. Oh, we might have to do the thing.
I'm telling you, it's that easy. You don't have to have any technique. You don't have to have any knowledge. You can be absolutely brain dead and win these games. Next game. Next game. We're gonna get E5 in. You know we wanna take. Let's bother the queen. Knights come out. We know the bishop wants to get to c5. And this is just a classic, uh, classic habit set up here. Trades. Oh. We generally want to, you know, never take with our king. We, we always want to castle, right? That's very important. Castling privileges. Rook to the middle. Probably going to go h6 next. Let's get our pieces uh, into the middle here. Absolutely. We love trades. We love trades. Whoa. I'll trade that. Well, it looks like there's something available for me there. Put our knight back on the most natural square. We want to get our rook to the middle, but unfortunately our... Square is kind of covered right now, so we're just going to launch some pawns. Oh, he's attacking my bishop. Let's move that. Let's uh, move these pawns here. The random pawns are coming in strong. Oh, raid. And we're running out of random pawns. Bring our knight into the... Uh, bring our knight into the middle here. Okay. Oh, I'm going to take that. Going to have to take that. Oh, we're at six seconds here. Let's. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Checkmate in one move. Checkmate in one move available. This was a very formidable opponent. I thought he played fantastic. Absolutely. This guy played well. He came very close to winning because he also caught my knight here. When I was just like pre-moving around. We still take those, absolutely. But you gotta give credit to Bishop's Axe. Yeah, Rook A1 mates, but what are you guys talking about? That's like a, that's a combo. I don't have time to unleash that. Remember, we're looking at under 10 seconds. The only thing on your mind here should be picking a piece and starting to pre-move with it. Seriously, that's the most important thing. All right. We know that uh, we want this set up. Bishop out to c4. Castle as soon as possible. Our knight's being hit. We actually can't move into the center. So I guess this is the most central square available. It's a pretty bad piece, but I'm going to try to stick to some habits here. Bishop into the middle. I'm going to go queen here and here. And oh. Oh, that's too bad, buddy. Wait a minute. What in the blue hell is going on? D5. I'm going to take. I'm going to take. I'm going to get my rook into the middle. Let's take that. We're going to chuck some pawns forward. Oh, rook takes. Oh, that's very friendly. Oh, it, uh, please. Be my guest. Let's take that. Oh, my goodness. Look at all these free pieces. Look at this long diagonal. I'm going to have to take here. I'm going to have to take this free piece. And now, I'm going to need... I'm 
We're gonna need to hope that this works. No, but guys, I mean, this is what I'm saying, like... Oh, he finally took it! <laughs> like... No, but it's insane! It's insane! How this works! Pick a piece and just move it wherever you want! It's unbelievable, truly unbelievable. You know our setup, right? Here, you know, if we can take something, we'll take it. Oh, look at this sucker. Look at him go. Oh, it's just, it's just, it just feels awful. Just to see the gall on this guy. To see that in a bullet game, especially. A bullet game. Oh, that just tickles me the wrong way. Make sure to get castled. I can't believe it. He really tried that, didn't he? Knight here will get castled. Take that. We'll bring the rook to the middle. What are we going to do here? H6, some habits. Uh, A6. We'll bring our queen, you know. Oh, okay. Hang on a sec. You're gonna give me your knight here. You don't have to be that kind. Trades. You know we do those. You know we do those, baby. We're gonna bring our rook over as well. And because we've got those habits in here, we're ready for the day. Now hang on just one second. Bishop takes h6. What in the blue hell is going on here? G6. Nothing to worry about. Not concerned at all. H4. Let's bring our knights into the middle. I'm not concerned here. In fact, I'm unconcerned. Oh. Well, it's fair to say we just got knocked the hell out. Completely knocked out. And you know why? It's this open file. And you know what? That reminds me of a few other games. Do you remember a game where I got checkmated? I think it was on G2. Yeah, I got checkmated for no reason. And it was once again due to this open file. I'm starting to think that this open file is not worth it. I'm really starting to believe it. It's only been bad news for me. I don't think I want to allow that. I don't think I want to allow that. It looks highly effective. I'm castling. I'm doing everything right. I'm getting my king to safety. And Buddy just brings his queen or rook here. And all of a sudden it's an easy win. Oh, Stu, we're going to avoid not just this, but specifically, like, if I've got a nice bishop develop, look, I've already taken care of development. This knight doesn't really bother me. I'm just going to continue with habits here. Okay, if my bishop's on c8, I might take that piece. That helps me. But if I've already developed something, I'm probably not going to be tempted to move it again. So at the very least, that'll help me. Look, if you get your pieces where they're supposed to be, leave them there. Right? Unless... Unless you're, you're you're trading a piece normally, like, you know, bishop for bishop or something. But going out of my way to take this only to mate myself later? I mean, this looks insane. Why am I allowing this? A nice little amendment there. Also, this guy was a very aggressive player, and I think he had a good style, right? Got that bishop out. 
He got the queen over. And there was nothing I could do. I was threatened with checkmate here. G6. I mean, he's still mating me. These games are going to happen in Bullet. Where your opponent just absolutely overwhelms you. Seriously. And it doesn't mean that, you know, your whole, uh, your whole system or philosophy is dead. It just means you probably got knocked the hell out. Which is exactly what happened. All right, e5. You guys at this point should be able to get these moves with me, and they shouldn't be taking you very long to throw out there. Knight, nice and easy. I mean, somebody tell me what the hell that move is all about. <laughs> Trade, sure, castle, right? Free pawn, like this. This should be simple stuff. This should be simple. Knight gets attacked. Let's move back. Have it. Gonna get uh, our pawn uh, up there. Then our bishop. Okay, let's trade that. Okay, knight's attacked. Let's move it into the center. Okay, that's a free bishop over there. Gotta take free stuff. I'll keep taking it. Queen's under attack. Let's retreat. Bring our rooks into the middle. Oh, a free piece you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. Far too kind. Oh, sure. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, you're going to offer it to me again. Sure. Sure. You're really offering me this. Is it my lucky day? Oh, hang on, guys. Like, it's, it's really that easy. In our next game, you'll notice that we are following habits to a T. E4, knight f3. We bring the knights out first, knights before bishops. We know our bishops go into c4. We've been playing this non-stop so far. Every time there's a possible trade, we'll take it. We'll bring our knight into d5. And look at this. Unstoppable habits. If there are trades in front of you, go ahead and take them. We're just sticking to the habits here. Getting castled ASAP. Focusing on getting developed. D3. Rookie one. H3 habits. That's a trade. Rook to the middle. And you see these moves are automatic. Oh, another trade. Let's get uh, h3, nice habits move. Queen to the middle, rook to uh, d1. Bring the rooks in, right? Here we go. And then probably a bunch of random pawn moves that I'm not going to think about. Oh, trades. We do trades. We do trades over here. Let's uh, shove some pawns here. No clue what he's doing, but we're doing this. Oh. Hang on a sec. Queen's under attack. Let's stay in the middle here. Trades. Fine with me. Back to my random pawns. Oh, trades. Always yes. Always yes. Oh. Definitely going to be taking that. Let's keep uh, the queen in the middle here. Oh, we'll take that. Oh, sure. We'll take that. Take everything in sight. Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, hang on a sec. Let's activate our...
right? right? It's liberating feeling. We're activating our pre-move, wherever the hell you want technique. And it works like a charm every time. It works like a charm. Don't use any of your brain power trying to decide if where you moved is a good move, a safe square, anything like that. Just put it there. Let's get back in here. E5, you already know. Holy smokes, we got some high key gameplay. Where's my knight going? No, 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 okay. Damn near forcing me. Knight has to go to g8. I see a free pawn. I'm gonna take a free pawn. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these, these habits work. <laughs> Here's the thing with habits. If they worked every single time, think of it this way. If they worked every single time, then I would possess probably the most valuable asset in the chess industry, right? If they worked every single time, 100%. The most valuable asset in chess, period. I would be selling that for thousands, if not millions of dollars. Now I'm, give, I'm, I'm here giving it to you for free. So I think you know that this operates with the majorities. This is, this is a nine out of 10 functional product, right? Nine out of 10 doctors recommend. This is the one doctor who doesn't, right? This is the one game. It's just an anomaly, statistical anomaly. It happens, it's bound to happen. This isn't foolproof, it's human, it's man-made. Here we go, knight f3, knight c3. We know what's happening here. Mm-hmm. Castle, we know we want d3, we know we want h3. Oh, a trade we will do. Okay, rook to e1, right? Bishop to e3. These moves are, I mean, they should be pretty standard by this point. Trades, always trade. Awkward. This should all be very standard by this point. Queen d2, rook d1, mm-hmm. Pieces into the middle. Oh, trades we always do. Oh, thank you very much. Let's, of course, double those rooks. Let's uh, move a couple random pawns here. Don't mind if I do. Little trade, don't mind if I do. Oh, let's keep moving those pawns. Let's keep moving them. Whoa, what the heck is happening here? Let's save our rook, that looks uh, important. More pawn moves. Those pawns are coming in. I'm pushing all of them. Oh. I think it's about that time, guys. We have to unleash our secret weapon. Oh, that was highly effective. That was highly effective. Nice and easy. Just pick a piece, and hey, why is the queen such a nice piece? Because it's the easiest to move. You can move it like a king, you can move it long range, it's just the easiest piece to move, and it provides the most coverage. So if I'm moving the king, I'm not necessarily preventing moves from my opponent. If I'm moving the queen, 
It's easy to move just one square at a time, and it also exerts a lot of pressure in different directions. So it might actually do work in preventing moves from your opponent. Plus, when you're moving your queen, it looks menacing. You look like you're threatening stuff. Your opponent's calculating, but when you're shuffling your king, they know you're kind of messing around. So it's nice to use the queen. It's nice to use high value pieces. You look like you're up to something, even though you're not.